everyone, welcome to my channel, it's Rebecca, and guess what? I am leaving for Europe on Friday, or whenever this video is posted, I don't know, but March 1st. <laughs> I should have a separate video of like, why I'm going and the whole point of my trip, because it's kind of a phenomenal story and it it's worth telling. My brother and I, I'm meeting him in London. We're doing a day in London. Then we have family to visit in the countryside. My father is English and he passed away in 2020 and he still has two surviving siblings and a, and, and a couple in-laws, like sister, a sister-in-law and a brother-in-law. And so what we're gonna do is visit them and then we see my, then we fly to Germany and we see my mom's sister who is suffering from Parkinson's and she is unable to communicate or do much of anything on her own. And my mom can't travel. So we're sort of seeing her for my mom. And there's a lot of emotion. There's a lot of, yeah, but it's going to be wonderful. Um, there's, you know, there's not like any hidden skeletons. Well, there kind of is. My grandfather, my dad's dad had some affairs. <laughs> so, and I found some letters. <laughs> I mean, we're talking some good Hallmark stuff, but a little juicier than Hallmark, to be honest with you. Anyway, so what you're getting today from me is what's in my makeup bag travel edition. I think that would be any edition because um, I'm never putting any of my makeup in a bag unless I'm traveling. <laughs> my makeup is on my desk and in a room. <laughs> what's in my makeup room? That would be... A different video. I have some things that I think you will be very, that are predictable, that you know I love, that um, look, that, that lend themselves very well for being portable. And then there are some things that might surprise you because either they're a more higher end uh, item or they're just something I don't talk about much. Um, but for me, travel is kind of, I love, I love putting things in either my makeup bag or even accessories that I, I never get the chance to wear at home because either I'm so busy or so kind of tunnel vision in the, the chores and duties of the day. And so for me, travel, even whether it's a tropical vacation or this kind of European adventure journey, um, I get to kind of play. And so you'll see. Okay, so let's talk you know, I always love prepping my eye area, so I am going to bring my Good Molecules. This is the Yerba Mate um, Caffeine Eye, the Wake Up Eye Gel. The reason for this is because I love an eye prep product that is lightweight, does a lot of good with very minimal bulk, and this is in a tube. Uh, the other two that I love very much are in glass containers. And so whenever possible, I travel with plastic. Um, I am wearing sunscreen. I'm not going to do a double duty sunscreen slash primer slash tinted moisturizer. I am focusing on my sunscreen as my skincare. So that is in a separate bag. I guess, right? And actually, the funny thing about this, this is not my travel bag. This is a Sephora Favorites holiday thing, and it is a great bag, but it's not what I'm going to be bringing. I think, I couldn't dig it out for this video, but I have a Cal Pack, and I'll I'll show you. It, oh, Ellie Glines, I haven't tried her stuff, but she's got some good bags. Um, it looks kind of like that. It's It looks like a book. All right, so the Elf, Putty primer, but the liquid version. And my gosh, if you had a mini of the actual solid version, what a perfect, perfect product. So I'm gonna, okay, I have a whole bunch of stuff just about. Um, <laughs> um, I'm gonna put this on and it's going to just sort of sit and do its thing. And while that is sitting and doing its thing, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I think this is such a good, good choice for travel. It is 36 hour tattoo studio. Yes, Maybelline and this, they have, they've had several, you know, 
iterations of a Tattoo Studio brow product, and this is their latest. And what perfect way I'm gonna put this on Friday morning before I head to the airport, and with my nine hour flight plus time difference, we are going to see if 24 hours later, it still looks good. Um, I like this. It's like, wow, you just slap it on. Do, be careful not see like right now there. That's me putting on too much product. Um, I like to just blot the brush. Uh, yeah, just kind of comb through. Hang on. There we go. Next is my eyeshadow primer. This is the e.l.f. shadow primer. I used this in my basic eye makeup video recently and wow, I have probably have been using it every day. I have so many, I, I even have a lot. Drugstore, why don't I speak in a sentence? Okay, uh, drugstore eyeshadow primers are probably my favorite i like this one i like milani i like essence here comes the surprise no it's not a surprise it's just like the sh the price tag is the shock <laughs> i think before i put my next product on i'm gonna put this um this is the jones road this is the light peach neutralizer um i this is a very waxy, a very thick product, and it really just helps to, <laughs> as you see, neutralize where it is so dark and blue. And that is hereditary. So I can thank the ancestors. I shall, I shall haul, call to them as I Pass by the homeland. Thanks for the dark circles. It's a very thick product. It does not go on like concealer would, you know, because of how concentrate, but if you work it in with your finger, you warm the product up and then just sort of let it be, it will do that thing of disguising the dark shadow and creating an illusion of like, oh look, it's, it's brighter there. Yeah, all right. Here we go. So I don't know what influenced me to get this. I think I've been watching some really beautiful women on TikTok and Instagram apply this with the greatest of ease. And I was like, I need, I need to try that. And it's the Patrick Ta. It's the cream foundation, but it also comes with such beautiful packaging that has completely gotten fingerprinted. Look at this. It has a mirror. It has powder. Cream products are like my favorite, and yet, especially cream foundation and stick foundation, they are the hardest. The hardest to find that beautiful, happy medium where it is blendable, it's full cover, but it doesn't look cakey, and it doesn't do weird, crumbly things where it looks like it's cracking on <laughs> your, the surface of your skin. And I think if you've ever had that experience, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, you're probably like, oh, I, what's, what's, what's that? <laughs> so I got shade light one. Okay, so we are gonna put this on with a BK Beauty. This is the 106 brush. I did this foundation three ways. Yeah. Wow, Rebecca, <laughs> you've been busy. <laughs> Okay, sorry. Look at how red I am right now. Oh my goodness, at least in person I look red. So I think this is gonna look light to you, but if um, it, it's perfect, trust me, especially for my winter shade, and it does not oxidize, but that is why I kind of erred on the like, ooh, what if it's gonna be too, too orange? I don't know why, I just kind of freaked out, but um, it's not, it's perfect. So I love the, the shade 
The shade selection in this is pretty great. I think I mentioned it's $52, but you do get two products. So I look at it as I'm spending about $27, 20, $26 on a foundation and a powder. Now if Patrick Ta sold a compact cream foundation, I, and it was $26, I'd be so excited. I'd be like, heck yeah, let me get that. Let me get that. <laughs> and so the fact that you know, it just came with a powder at twice the price. Hey, okay. now, yeah. probably would have bought it anyway. Okay, I need to wipe my nose. You see right now how I'm blending it. It's looking really, really good. It's beautiful. I was very dubious. I'm like, no way, this is gonna look terrible in a few hours. What happens when I put other cream or powder products on it? And honestly, it looked great for hours. It just, it just didn't quit. And I'm like, why, why, I hate you. No, I love it, it's great. House Labs Concealer, it is the, okay. I love this concealer. I've talked about it many times. And I know I've got quite a few concealers, like the Revlon, the Revlon Flexwear. I could totally bring that with me. This one, I'm, the reason I'm bringing it is because it acts all, it do, if I wanna do something over my face where I'm not gonna put makeup on, or foundation on, I really, really enjoy this product all over my, my complexion. <laughs> like this and some powder is, is so good. So, and you just saw, I blended it in with my finger and I will be bringing some of my brushes, but what I just did there was I blended it in with my finger and it just looks beautiful. And that's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So we're going to do cream bronzer because you know it, you know it. Where is she? Okay, so Milani's cream bronzer, you know I'm all about this. You know what I forgot about? This Ulta little uh, cheek squad and it has a cream bronzer in it too. Um, this, I forgot about this and it's really good. In fact, I think, did I, I think I loved this and then I forgot about it, which, right? Isn't that the story of Ulta Cosmetics? Like, it's kind of like Sephora. <laughs> if my lighting or color, if the white balance is off, I apologize because my camera is doing the weird thing where it keeps shutting off and I have to keep changing the battery even though the battery is not dead, but it's like I have to, it thinks it is. Yeah. I never did replace my camera that one day when I said my camera broke and I needed a new one. I actually just kind of got it to work again, which we know what that's like. That means I am on bor borrowed time. <laughs> okay. So I think the difference between the Milani and that Ulta is that the Milani blends out kind of powdery and it's a little bit more of a reddish. I applied it differently, didn't I? Yeah, this is a lighter shade, a little more honey, honey beige, and this is a little bit more like bronze. <clears throat> yes, I'm gonna do a little contour with my NYX Wonder Stick. This is shade Fair. And I am gonna do my nose. I'm gonna do right here. A little carve, a little carve situation. <laughs> oh, and I'm gonna do right here. This Wander Beauty brush, oh, love it. Ooh, so you guys, I will talk Wander Beauty here in just a second. If you haven't tried their uh, eye baggage, <laughs> um, I know, that is that what it's called? You know, but their masks, their, their eye masks, those are the best. Those are truly, truly the best. They stay on, they brighten, they hydrate, they look, you look so good. Okay, so there's that. And then, I know I still haven't powdered yet. I think I'm gonna do that now. I'm going to show you the Patrick Ta powder. It's lovely. I'm going to use a very, oh, this is my Flower Beauty brush. This is the Flower Beauty powder brush and 
Ah, uh, it is, it's one of my best brushes. Okay, I'm just going to just, I like to swoop along the powder, but I like to blot the brush into my face. And then, I'm looking better, you guys. I'm looking better than when I started, right? So Wonder Beauty has a couple face palettes and eyeshadow palettes, and this one has been just so beautiful. It's their getaway. Um, and I think I got Sunkissed. Yeah, it's the lighter one. And just look at those nudes, bronze, corals. It is so good. So I am going to pack this because as much as I want to pack a couple of my shadow palettes, it's probably just better for me to just do this. <laughs> but I might, I, I might put some, I should do some shadow crayons. That's what I should do. So I just use a combination of these two shades to start. <clears throat> This Sigma brush, this is what this is, is about to fall apart. I can, oh, look at this. Okay, it's ready, bye. She's, she's going. I'm just gonna use this Real Techniques brush real quick. Um, yeah, not necessarily. Okay, then I'm gonna do this color right here, which is called Yacht. It's so pretty. And there's a mirror. Oh, oh, look at that. I forgot. These are very pigmented. And then you can use the. Oof! Like, look at that. I'm going to put my finger in the highlight shade. And that's going right here. Oh, it's so pretty. You guys, what makeup should I buy when I'm over there? I'm gonna totally go into Primark and Boots, and I think I'm gonna do, it might be Harrods, it might be Selfridges, not quite sure where, where our walking takes us. Planning on getting a couple things like Lisa Eldridge. Yeah, I think I need a lipstick. Okay, I need mascara. I'm really gonna bring just nothing really, nothing kind of special mascara. Right now, I've got this on my table, and it's pretty good. Um, I also have the Fenty, the Hella Thick, love it. Okay. You've been like me and you keep buying the minis from the small end of um, Sephora at the end cap, like my little Charlotte Tilbury guys. These are so great, I'm gonna bring them. And I found this, when did I get this? Oh, this is uh, Laura Mercier, this is like a little baked, so pretty look at that I don't know what I'm doing with it I might bring uh, we'll see I've got some merit yeah I've got <laughs> I've just got like all my little things I've got like a little Tatcha uh, primer in there so I am going to show you what I'm bringing for lips you guys, the color Stay, this is the Revlon. It's a matte light crayon. So what I love about it is that it is not terribly drying. And it is, this one is such a good shade. This is shade Tread Lightly. And you see, it's like a crayon. It's a point. And it's so good. I'm going to bring lip pencils as well. I mean, come on, I have three in my purse right now at all times. So, like you think I'm gonna go across the world and not have four lip pencils with me? Okay, but this one is such a good one and I really enjoy it. And then, because they're small, 
Merit. These Merit lip oils. Uh, so good. And I am going to need it. When I travel, no matter where I'm traveling, everything is just dry. So that's a pretty shade. I don't know if I'm bringing red. I don't know if I'm gonna bring a red lip on this trip. Let me do a little more mascara off camera and I'll be right back. So there is my face. This is what you're probably gonna see from my Instagram and my YouTube shorts while I'm away. I hope to do another packing video in terms of like skincare and just sort of some general things that I'm packing. But if I don't do that before I go, I will film it when I return if you're interested. And um, anything that I have shared or mentioned in this video, I will put a link below. If I have a discount code or any kind of affiliate link, just know that I probably receive a small commission which supports my channel, so thank you if you purchase from those links. And what else? I don't know. If you have any tips, if you have any must, must places for me to see, definitely let me know. Who knows, I might not be near them, but we'll see, we're renting a car. We're, we're going all over the place. I mean, Germany and England, just two countries. I have a layover in Reykjavik, but I'm only in there for like an hour. <laughs> so hi, if you're in Reykjavik, hello. <laughs> but uh, there you go, I'm so excited. I uh, look forward to seeing you next time, bye.